Oh, it's these this monster truck rally that we got on Pants and Target. Look, bro. You ready? Ready to see what's in here? Look at this. It's somebody's dirty sock, bro. Gross. Okay. Was it used though? Oh, that was definitely used. Gross. Oh, and it smells like chicken, bro. It smells like chicken. Gross. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna go through a ton of items. It looks like a ton of boxes of Amazon customer returns. Stick with me, watch to the end, you don't wanna miss. And you won't believe some of the items that Amazon customers return back. Let's get right into it. So this is what we're working with today. All this stuff. That's a lot of boxes. Let's hop right into it. All right. First up. Brand new. Brand new. I don't know why some of this stuff gets sent back. But it does. That's okay. Next up. Man, like, sometimes I wonder about, like, stranded inventory. And... This is an Adidas pullover. So this could be sent back in if it still has the tags on it. But if people returned it without the tags. Oh, we get the tag still attached. That can go back in, too. So we like when things can go back into Amazon makes life a lot easier you know what I mean love when people write on the box like see we go this is all done with tape what do we got here is this gonna be our first non-sellable item so this is a video game open video game you know they they shouldn't uh no actually it's that's not opened. I was gonna say they shouldn't allow returns for open video games, but it is not open. So we're gonna send that back. Amazon's tripping, man. Like, I'm not sure why a lot of these items get returned. Okay, an item that we've never sold before. So sometimes this happens. Um, you get a return that was never, um, you never sold. So that's what this is. We've never sold the Lavoid filter, but now that it's here, we have to check to see if we can sell it on Amazon. Because obviously we're gonna send it back in, right? We're gated. Oh, of course we're gated. That would be our luck to be gated in an item that we got returned. Trash, bro. That's That sucks. That's unfortunate, but that's Amazon for you. All right, so I opened this up and look what's inside. What do we got there? It's probably a nasty brush that somebody used. We got hairs in there. Any hairs? No, not one hair, but it's definitely opened. Um, ew, it's got a little bit of, clean it up, maybe sell it used or something. Put that in the stuff that we can't sell. We have a filtret filter that pretty much brand new. Still got the factory feel. We can definitely sell this because we, we have sold that in the past. We'll put that in the pile of Sending back into Amazon. Look at that price though. Look at that. That's the profit we're missing out on this because of Amazon's I don't know, I don't want to say stupidity, but 
This is probably a stranded inventory item. I'm not sure how it landed there, but it landed there. Another reason why your item can be landed in stranded inventory, this wasn't sold, this was in stranded inventory, but just because the collar was covering the barcode, it probably could not be registered, therefore landed in stranded inventory. So we have to fix that. We can maneuver that a little bit. Can probably just, without unbacking it, right? Just kind of slip it. But now you have this sticker here that you have to worry about. We'll cover, um, we'll make sure this is covered and we'll resend this one back in because I'm pretty sure this is a pretty expensive shirt. It is Nike. Doesn't have a price, so that means we make up our own price, but the rank is trash, so we have to fix that. Back into the send back in pile. All right, let's open this one up. This one's all taped up, beat up box. Um, a lot of this stuff in it. God, Amazon literally sends this big box to send back this little ass item. And I know we can resell that, so that will go back there. This stuff, free packaging. Look, look at this box. This one looks like it was open already, but you know, packaging damaged. They brought back a Ryan gun. Uh, it wasn't um, wasn't sold like this, so. You know, we have to just look at the darts in it though. So they definitely played with it. What's going on? What happened now? Is the dart lodged in there? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Because there's two darts lodged in there, so the person probably didn't take the time and just said, I'm just going to return it because, you know, people are mad lazy. We'll come back to it. I might even just, we might even keep this. Alright, next up, we got, oh, we haven't seen this in a while. Look at this. Black & Decker drill in the box this is going for $29.99 I'm sorry $48.99 we're gonna send that back we'll we'll add all this stuff to the inventory after all right we got another big box taped up Something small is in here. It's uh, it's already kind of opened. Yeah, another used toy that we cannot send back into Amazon. This one we will not be able to send back into Amazon because they decided to tape it up like that. I don't know why, because right, they took it out of the box. A pile of stuff that we cannot resell again. All right. Another big box. Let's see what we got here. Really? We just sent these in. I don't know why this was in stranded inventory or return. Look, you know, because people are so dumb. This is why people are so dumb, okay? They put a shipping label on the back of this and then Amazon takes it off and sends it back to me. Stupid. All right, next up we have, ooh, we got a Nighthawk, man. Nighthawk. Still brand new there, everything's good. Okay. Okay. Sometimes we don't even, there's no rhyme or reason for a return of a stranded inventory. Who knows? I know what these are. So I got a bunch of these returns. Um, they're the fake security cameras. Right, let's see what we got here. Open humidifier. Brand new. We'll figure it out. 
send it back into Amazon. As well as, um, I think we're going to send in these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures we've been holding on to. I think we're going to just send them into Amazon, you know? All right, let's see. Medium box, regular tape. Let's see what we got in here. So far, it's, it's actually not that bad. Oh. Okay, it's a, uh, it says family. It is still attached to the packaging, so this might have been stranded inventory, not a return, because it wasn't even taken out of the box. So we could probably resend that back in. I mean, we still got the, we still got the snaps on it. A lot of this stuff is a mix between customer returns and stranded inventory. One of the downfalls of having Amazon prep your inventory, because man, they fuck up a lot. They do. They fuck up a lot, man. And it costs you. All right. Now we're getting into a big boy here. I don't know what this is or. Oh, it's a scooter. So let's see why. Let's see what's up with the scooter. I mean, it's all taped back up. Again, they send it, they stick a label on here and this is how they ship it back to Amazon. Cause they're trying to like, they're trying to like give it to Amazon but they're really giving it to third party resellers like me and you. All right, next up. Oh, man. One that's open, flashlight opened up. This one I'll probably keep for my house then flashlight I've actually never seen a battery uh, a flashlight take so many batteries this takes multiple batteries this might have been stranded because there's no way that they left the batteries like that customers aren't that nice you know what I mean let's see you ready you stupid doesn't work maybe that's why it was returned Pretty sure we have this on right Usually batteries go one way and then opposite another way, but I guess these all go a certain way. Oh, it works, it works. Let's go. So it works. Another one that's kind of ruined, but I can sell it on like Macari. So this will go into not sending back into Amazon pile. I love getting the free bubble wrap because you can always use bubble wrap. Always. All right, I don't know where I got cut off. Had storage issues with the iPhone. Shout out to Samsung. <laughs> but this is what we got left. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that seventh one down there that we're obviously gonna have to sell it at Macari. Let's take this big one. Let me see. We're gonna get a bird eye view. I didn't bring down my tripod, so I don't have the tripod with me, but let's open her up. Got. Oh, is this another freaking griddle? Bro, I've sold hundreds of these. So they keep sending me back this Cuisinart griddle. It's not always the same one. I've just sold so many that a lot of it got lost in translation. Like this is brand new in the box. Look, even has the plastic wrap on it. This can be sent back into Amazon, which is good because this is a pretty big seller. This thing sells for such a good premium that they can send me back this all they want. I paid $10 a piece for these. I was having pallets delivered. Check this out. We paid $10 a piece for these. We're making $18 profit each. I wish I could get more for $10. Oh, it's these this monster truck rally that we got on Fancy Target. Look, bro. Can you just see, ready, ready to see what's in here? Look at this. I don't even want to touch it, but look, look. It's somebody's dirty sock, bro. In the toy. I don't believe this was a part of the toy. Gross. They 
They lost their sock. I want to write to the customer of this and be like, hey, did you lose a pair of socks? I have them. I can send them back to you if you'd like. Let's see if they have the vehicle. So they have all the tracks. Okay. Is the vehicle in here? The vehicle is not in here. So they returned it without the vehicle. I mean, they could have put a pair of socks here to act like it was a vehicle because it was kind of, it was sitting in the window. Trash, bro. Fucking trash. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. And like I said, the funny thing is, people think that they're scamming Amazon. They're not. Scamming everyday people. So, next. So we got, okay, book. This we can probably send in. Book return that we got at Ollie's. Let me just take this out. Oh, it's, bro oh, it's broken. The bind, the binder is broken. Oh, we gotta give it to the kids, right? We got two kids. We'll give it to them. Next. Come on, give us something good. I mean, dirty socks you return. Barbie extra. Uh, um. It doesn't look like anything is missing. It's not in new condition. I bet you on the back. No. We still sell it on Macari. We're not gonna send that one back in either to Amazon. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Got another big one. And we have a Vornado. Unopened. Vornado's not open, which is good. We can send that back in. But I think the Vornado, the Vornado is tanked so much that I don't even know if it's worth sending back in. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what's in this box. This box is a little, ooh, I like getting these returns though. Another Cuisinart. Again, I've never sold a Cuisinart in a box. I sold the BJ's version, which was this tray. And it had like a cardboard marketing thing there. I've never sold them in the box. But I'll take it because these are money. All right, last but not least, we got this. Obviously, we, we can't send this back into Amazon. So because we can't send this back into Amazon, let's open it up. If it's in good condition, maybe we'll use it as a giveaway. Let's see. Like if it's unused, you know what I mean? Looks like it's still wrapped up. Let's see. Okay. Was it used though? So it was definitely taken out of the box. Oh, that was definitely used. Gross. Oh, and it smells like chicken, bro. It smells like chicken. Gross. So what I'll end up doing is I'll end up taking this to uh, to donate. Um, unfortunately, we, we we do we are gonna do a giveaway though. Um, I just have to figure out what what we want. Comment below. What do you want for a giveaway? Let me know. We'll do a giveaway. We haven't done a giveaway in a while, but I'm gonna donate this. Get this out of here. Uh, somebody else can pick it up, clean it, whatever. Um, let me know some good donation places too. I feel like I hate giving to savers or to Goodwill because their markup is stupid. You know, they're trying to counter resellers, but at the same time, they're trying to price out people that can't afford everyday items. So whatever. That's going to do it, guys. We got some items that we can't resell. We've got some items that we can send back into Amazon. All in all, honestly, this returns wasn't that bad, except for the dirty sock and the dirty air cooker thing. Ugh. It literally smelled like like greasy fried chicken, um, but not the good kind.
you like these videos, guys, let me know. I'll keep doing these return videos. It's, it's a curiosity factor. We never know what we're going to get in those returns. So um, make sure you stick around. The good news is a lot of times we get more items that we can send back into Amazon than not send back into Amazon. So uh, if you like videos like these, make sure you smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next hustle. Let's go. Oh,